Hello there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Tonight we're going to be taking a look at saving and loading games. Uh, saving to a file on the computer, so saving a value. In this case we're going to do an integer. So I've got here a blank first person template. If I hop into the game and fire the gun, you see that it fires like normal. So every time I fire that gun, I'm going to save that the number of clicks to a very to a to a file. So if I've if I've fired the gun five times and then loading the game again, the next shot will be the sixth, as opposed to starting back at zero shots. So let's without further ado, let's jump into how we're going to do this. The first thing we need to do is make a new blueprint blue blue <laughs> blueprint class, and this needs to be of the value of the type save game. So down here under all classes, type in save, and then head up save game. So select that, and we're going to name this my save game. And we're going to open this up. So, what do we need to do? Well, we're going to be saving uh, an integer. So we need to create a new variable of the data type integer, and this is going to be called shots fired. We can compile this, save it, and exit it. That's all we need to do in here for now. Now we're going to hop on over to the first person character. So, since we're counting shots, every time we've done the spawn projectile and play sound, we're going to jump into shooting, into, into saving, sorry. Now the first thing we want to do is call does save game exist? Um, and I've already started this tutorial, so I'll quickly delete those and <laughs> start that back from the beginning. Um, that won't be in, the, in yours either, so I just ran a bit of play around on this. So, this is what you'll have. This is what you'll have when you first open your first person character. So after you've fired the gun, we're going to go with does save game exist? We need to. We need. We need. Okay. So what? What's the save game called? We can't leave this blank. So what we're going to do is go ahead and create a new variable. It's going to be a string, and we're going to name this save game one. Uh, save game one file name. Now remember, that's the variable name. We need. To, we need to give the file a name now. So the variable is named save game one file name. The file name is going to be called shots fired. Now make sure that you set that default value in there, otherwise this won't work. We need to drag that out, hit get, and hook that into the slot name. Now with the boolean we're going to call a branch. So, does it exist? Yes or no? If it does exist, we're going to load game from slot. And if it doesn't, we're going to create save game object. Now the save game object we want to create is the one that we just created, so it's my save game. Compile that for now, and let's let's move on. So now over here we need to set. Um, oh no, we need to create a new variable. This is going to be uh, called saver subclass, and the the type of this variable is going to be save game up here, not the my save game, but the save game here. Compile it and set it by hooking these two together and the execution pins. And we want to do this on both. Okay. Um, now I'm a little bit cautious about using these these pins here, but so I'm just going to simply call get here again. Now I, you might be able to use these, but for the purposes of the tutorial, I'm not going to try it. I'm just going to call get on this again. Um, and what we want to do now is we want to cast to my save game with this. And we want to do that on both. Oh. We're going to cast to the save game. So at the minute it's looking pretty similar, except we're loading or creating the save game. So now that we've done that, what do we want to do? Well, we want to set the variable. Now remember in my save game we created something called shots. So what we're going to do is shots. We're going to set the value of shots fired. But we also need to get the value of shots fired. So we're going to set the value to what the current value plus one. So what this is currently doing is, is saying, okay, my save game, how many shots have we fired? I'm going to add one to that, and right, okay, this is how many shots you've now fired. So we're taking the information, adding one to it, and saving it again. Now we need to do this on both lines. So I'm just going to copy, paste, and hook up the necessary nodes in here. And I'll just tidy this up a little bit to uh, keep these two lines looking a bit separate. 
Okay, so we've, we've uh, ended up the number of shots now. Now what do we want to do? So, how many shots we fired? We fired five shots, six shots now. Now we need to save it. So we're going to save game to slot. And the slot is going to be the string that we named earlier. We're going to overwrite the old file, basically. So the slot name is this. And the save game asset is, remember this pen we cover back over here, the save, save a subclass? We need to hook that into there and compile that as we, as we go along. So what do we want to do? Well, um, that will basically be it, but we don't know if it's saving. So I'm going to print these values to, this, to the screen. So we're going to print string. Um, in fact, we'll tell you what, we'll print two strings. The first string we want to print, we can hook that up like that, that's cool because it's common from now on. The, actually we can't, for the, f no, let's do them separately. Let's do them separately. Just to uh, keep it separate. Anyway, so the first thing we're going to print is return value. So this says, did it save? Yes or no? So we're going to drag this into here and it'll convert the boolean into a string. The second thing we want to know is shots fired. So let's drag shots fired over here. The new value of shots fired, that is. Same again down here. It's going to say true or false as to whether it's saved or not. And then it's going to print the value of the save. Compile. And hopefully... Nope. Uh, oh, that's... um. In a class that I'm not using. Let me find that class real quick and get rid of it. Don't need you. Hit play. Okay. So it says there's one true... And it stopped at that. Why did it stop? It stopped because... Well, it would have saved the first time, so it said it didn't exist. And now it does exist. So, my, so it's now loading game from... Okay, so here we go. We didn't actually hook up the pen here. So what? where is it loading it from? It needs a slot name in there. So hopefully now we get past one. Two, three, four... I'll try and not speak as the shots are going on. I don't know how loud that's coming through. I hope it's not too loud for you guys. In fact, let me just um, turn that off there. Sorry about that. So we're on about 20 shots right now. So if I stop the game, you know, I've stopped the game. I want to, you know, move this around and move that cube around or something and hit play again. So this is a fresh, fresh go now. So we're on 20 shots before and hopefully 21. 22, 23. So that is the file saving and actually loading from itself because it's loading first to then save onto it. And if we open up my documents, uh, I don't know what's in my documents, but hopefully there's nothing too unsuitable. Heading down to Unreal Projects, saving. The project was called saving. And inside the saved and save games, that was an old one, you can see that we have shots fired. Now, if I jump in here and, uh, oh, and fire the gun. You see that we're on 27 shots. If I pop out and just delete the save game now, hit play again, you'll see that we're back down to zero. And also that now that we fired the shot a couple of times, the save game is back. So that's how you would save and load in Unreal Engine 4 using blueprints. I hope this tutorial has been uh, helpful. Um, it's something I've wanted to learn how to do for a while myself. I uh, figured out tonight and figured I'd condense it down into a nice little uh, nice little tutorial for you guys. So I hope you found this interesting and I hope you found it helpful. Um, if, you, if you'd like to, please subscribe to the channel. There'll be more Unreal Engine 4 videos coming out over summer. Um, do stay tuned as well. I'm heading on down to university at the end of September, October, and I have planned with a friend to create uh, a project. I'm not going to ruin it. Basically, there'll be an another channel coming up uh, whereby we'll collaborate our videos that will have a lot more C++ scripting, a lot more of making a game than just doing bits of blueprint tutorials, so stay tuned for that guys. Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.